Okay, here's a couple of good gas law questions. Specified quantity of unknown gas has the volume of 16.4 mils at 22 and 659. Calculate the volume at STP. So STP, the temperature, well, let's do it. P1, V1, T1, N1. P2, V2, T2, N2. We're not changing how much gas, so that's out. Initial pressure, 659 tor. Um, oh, that's going to be a problem, eh? Uh, we'll have to convert that to kilopascals. Oh, well, maybe not. Um, let's do our pressure 2. Uh, pressure 2 is at STP, and the pressure at STP is 100. 0 0.00 kilopascals. Oh, we might, yeah, we'll have to do a conversion thing. Okay, so let me write that. This will be 100.00 0 kilopascals. Temperature starts at 22. <coughs> have to add our 273 to that. 273.15 plus 22. Oh, and just two sig figs too, eh? So 295.15. That's our initial uh, pressure or temperature in Kelvin. Volume 16, oh, that's milliliters. Um, we could leave it as milliliters, but I like to just make sure I always keep things consistent. Let's do liters. Let's change that tor. <clears throat> it's bothering me. 659 tor. Times, okay, 760 tor is the same as 101.325 kilopascals. So let's convert that. It's got to be like 95 or something like that. 659 times 1.325 divides 760. 87. I wasn't that close. 87.859, etc. So, instead of the tor there, I'm going to put <clears throat> 87.859 kilopascals, right, kilopascals. Okay, volume 2, oh, they, don't, they want us to know that. And STP, standard temperature, is 0 Celsius, so that's 273.15 Kelvin. Okay, so I have P's, V's, and T's. Uh, I don't have a formula there. Um, but I do have this one, P1, V1 over T1 equals P2, V2 over T2. That's the combined gas law. Sure, I brought all these over and I didn't have to use one. Uh, okay, so if I am solving for V2, <clears throat> V2 is going to be equal to the other cross, P1, V1, T2, so that cross, divided by what's in the other one, so T1, P2. Okay, so P1, 87.859, and I'm just going to keep that number from the calculator that I got from down here, uh, down here, uh, just so it retains uh, uh, more accuracy there. And that is kilopascals times volume 1, 0 0.0164 liters, times temperature 2, 273.15 Kelvin. Divide, I'll put it in brackets, temperature 1, 295.15 Kelvin, times uh, P2, 100 kilopascals. That's what STP is. Okay. So that number that I have times 0 0.0164 times 273.15 divided by bracket. Don't forget your bracket. 295.15 times 100. Close the bracket. Go. So the volume comes out to be 0 0.03349, it's a 3, 
and this will be liters. I need to do two sig figs for there. So that'll be 0 0.013 liters. If I wanted to write it as 13 milliliters, that would work too. Okay, that's a good one. Combined gas law. Okay, <clears throat> compressed gas cylinder. Looks like we're doing a similar kind of thing. So P1, V1, T1, N1. P2, V2, T2, N2. Not changing how much gas there is. And the volume, compressed gas cylinder, um, I don't think the volume's going to change because it's a cylinder. I guess if it, it if <clears throat> the pressure gets high enough in it, it'll blow up, but it, it should be strong enough that it won't uh, change in volume. So volume's out. So I've got this thing at 134 atmosphere pressure, and it's at 23 Celsius. 273.15 plus 23, 296.15, 296.15 Kelvin. <clears throat> P2, well, that's what I'm looking for, and the temperature goes to 475. Well, I gotta have to add that one up to 475 plus uh, 273.15. Uh, this would be 8147. So this would be 748.15 Kelvin. So P2 and T2. Is that one of our formulas? I guess what we could do is just use our regular one. P2 and T2. I'm not sure. I don't think that was Guy Lussac's. Could have been. Could have been a guy loose sack. Anyway, uh, we have P1 V1 over T1 equals P2 V2 over T2. <clears throat> if I keep the volume the same, then I can just use that formula. And I'm solving for P2. That's this one. So P2 is going to be P1 times T2 divided by T1. P1, 134 atmospheres. Notice that I don't have to change, <clears throat> in this question, I don't have to change my atmospheres, um, unless in the question they say, what is the new pressure in kilopascals or something. But I can use atmospheres here. It's just my answer is going to be in atmospheres, which is fine. If, if they don't say they need a specific unit, you can keep atmospheres. Temperature 2, 748.15 Kelvin. Temperature 1. 296.15 Kelvin. The Kelvins cancel. Calculator time. So 134 times 748.15 divide 296.15. So pressure 2 comes to 338.517 atmospheres. That's a crazy amount of pressure. Lots of pressure. I'm not sure how much pressure one of those things would would hold, but <clears throat> that's that's like one atmosphere is 766 60 millimeters of mercury. So if you times this by 338, that'll tell you how many millimeters of mercury you have. That's that's uh, crazy pressure. Um, okay, sig figs, three, two, three, so I've got to go to two, so I'd say 340 atmospheres. All right, hopefully that helps you with those two uh, questions.